Now that you know what a literature review is, you can start searching for articles. The first step is to identify your research topic. What is your working thesis statement? While you may be focused on a very specific topic, like the benefits of shared storytelling experiences between early onset dementia patients and toddlers, you will have to think a little more broadly for your literature review. For instance, for your literature review, you might look for articles that address the following. Using storytelling as a way to develop language and communication skills in toddlers. Using storytelling as a way to maintain communication skills in dementia patients. And interactions between the elderly and toddlers. Articles that discuss these topics should inform your own original research. Now you can begin searching. For more information on the search process, check out the library's videos for planning a search strategy, forward and backward searching, and author searching. When you find an article relevant to your research topic, take the time to read the article and summarize it. Make note of any key concepts and use those keywords to improve your searches. Look for authors or papers that are frequently cited in works that you are reading, as this indicates the research is highly valued in the field. While researching, you might find articles that say something like a review of the literature in the title. Don't use these articles in your own literature review, as they do not provide any original research. Instead, use them to find articles related to your research topic. From the beginning of the research process, make sure to keep track of citations you might want to use in your literature review. Watch the library's Zotero or EndNote videos for ideas on how to capture and organize your citations. After you have gathered your articles, you can begin to organize them. There are a variety of ways to organize a literature review. One such way is using the chronological method. If you choose to organize your literature review chronologically, you will discuss the literature based on when it was published. The best way to employ this method is to look for trends within specific eras. Instead of discussing a book that was published in 1920, then an article that was published in 1945, and another article that was published in 1962, which will resemble an annotated bibliography instead of a literature review, you might want to focus on works that were published pre-1900, 1900 to 1940, 1940 to 1980, and 1980 to the present. You can also organize your literature review thematically. A thematic literature review will focus on different topics that appear throughout the literature, rather than writing about the progression of thought on a subject, as is the case with the chronological review, you would group articles by topic regardless of when they were published. You can also organize your literature review methodologically. A methodological literature review organizes articles based on the methodologies used by the researchers. The methodology is how a researcher approaches the research question. For example, some researchers might use a case study method, others might use field experiments, and still others may rely on interviews. These are just a few examples of ways to organize your literature review. Talk with your faculty mentor to see if they prefer a different organizational method. If you would like assistance with the literature review process, please feel free to contact the library to set up an appointment with your liaison librarian.